Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the RPG Exploration Society. We are teaching you the ropes of Savage Worlds, the fast, furious, and fun game system from Pinnacle Entertainment. Uh, we have built some seriously fun characters with these folks, and uh, over the last few episodes, you have seen them get created and uh, um, uh, even even dabbled in some some role play. Uh, uh, thank you, Five Foot Latino, for that donation. Um, and uh, yeah, you can check out the previous four episodes over on our YouTube. But right now, it's game time, so I kind of want to get going rather quickly because we might go long tonight, folks. Um, plus, we have a giveaway, and I have more details on that shortly. So first, before we get too involved, let's... Uh, uh, oh, thank you, Neva. Thank you for that. Uh, for that donation. Um, we've already got some uh, tips coming in, so thank you, everybody. Uh, let's start, uh, let's go around the horn and introduce who is playing with us, our society members who have joined us on this mission. Let's start with Noir. Wow, that's me. Hey, everybody, I'm Noir. I go by he, they. Uh, today, I'll be playing Othello Kang, uh, who is a herald, who also goes by he, they. Um, you can find me all over the internet as you know our enigma. That's Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. That's all you need to know for now. Please stop perceiving me. <laughs> <laughs> and ghost. Um, next <laughs> up, Megan. Hi, I am Megan Caves, and uh, tonight I am playing Crystal Void. Uh, my pronouns are she, her, so are crystals. Um, you can find me at Megan Caves uh, on the interwebs, and uh, I am also excited to see what is in store for us this evening and, and uh, how we handle it. <laughs> um, moving over, Gnome. What's up, everybody? My name is Snowmatic, and I'm just going to use this voice because it may be the very last time that I get to do so. My pronouns are he, him, and so a child of warns, a prospector who got grandpappy's uh, pickaxe, and we're ready to go find some ghost track in this mystery. <laughs> um, okay. I missed it here. <laughs> And uh, Nick. Hey, I'm Nick Boylan. Tonight I'm playing Denitki, a Seminole gunslinger. Happy Indigenous Peoples Day. Um, and you can find me at Bi Rogues wherever I am on the internet, which is everywhere. All at once. <laughs> <laughs> you are omnipresent on the internet. Um, I believe it. I believe it. Uh, my name is Dom Zuck. I'm the executive producer and showrunner here at Saving Throw. I'll be your GM or Marshall, as the case may be. Uh, so a little bit of housekeeping. You have a few minutes left to enter the giveaway that I talked about earlier. It's for a Savage Worlds starter pack. It includes a dice tray, dice, playing cards, uh, binnies, a voice mod pro license for one year, a Savage Worlds core rulebook, a Deadlands core rulebook, uh, and, uh, I think that's it for right now, but I mean, what more do you need? Uh, that's a lot to get started. Um, we're definitely going to be playing with some voice voices on voice mod, uh, today. So, um, so you can kind of check that out, but it's a really cool program. Uh, and I believe down below here, there's a link to voice mod where you can, I think it. 10, 5 or 10% off. I don't even know if they own the, my own partnerships that I have, but you can get the, you can get a percentage off of a pro uh, license if you want to get it right now. Uh, prices are limited to North America only. Sorry. Uh, but, you know, I love you, all you Brits and Germans and Brazilians and Chileans and Puerto Ricans and Dutch and everyone else who watches our stuff. Yeah, I, I would. I would. No, uh, there there are people from Cyprus who watch um, mm. people all over the world. So uh, thank you very much for tuning in. Unfortunately, you can't win this prize today. But uh, if you're in North America, you can. Uh, to enter, all you need to do is type in exclamation point prize and follow the link, follow the instructions and get an entry. It's super easy. If you follow us on Twitch, which most of you already do, that's an immediate uh, uh, entry into into the, the prizes. If you already sub to us on Ko-Fi, you can click the little sub on Ko-Fi link and you'll get a slew of entries that way. So it's like you don't even have to sign up as a sub. 
if you're already one. Um, uh, but yeah, so there's a lot of ways that you can get entries, including turning in 1,000 channel points from Twitch, which you get just from watching here. Uh, we'll draw the winner live tonight before we end, so stick around for that. We'll contact you via email if you can't stick around for the, for the entire show, but uh, yeah, we'll let you know. So good luck. Um, saving Throw relies almost entirely on viewers like you. Over 90% of our income comes from the audience, which means, whoa, Nick's camera's wigging out. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it can, it I don't can know feel why. the evil. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's the Herald's fault. It's yeah. <laughs> there Wait, we go. It the system it stopped. is down. It stopped. That was weird. Yeah. Weird. Okay. Okay. <laughs> It was, I blame the witch. Yeah, yeah. It was me. Oh, no. <laughs> Franklin. Franklin. Dang it, Franklin. I've been so nice to you. No, oh, Franklin. <laughs> uh, yes. So we rely a lot on your support, and shows like this just would not happen without that support. Your Ko-Fi tips and subs go towards paying our cast and crew, mainly. So um, all of that just goes right back into creating our shows. Uh, but it also helps us produce things like that intro video you just saw and, and more. Additionally, nearly half of you watching this on YouTube aren't even subscribed to our channel. Why? It's easy. It's free. We use that to leverage sponsorships so that we can cut back on ads and speeches like this. So consider subbing up. It's free and easy. Uh, also, consider supporting us on Ko-Fi and becoming a member of our Exploration Society. Use exclamation point Ko-Fi in chat for link. Tips and subs of $15 or more allow you to send us a toast, which we'll read out loud. And uh, any sub, whether it's on Ko-Fi or Twitch, uh, gives you the opportunity to send a reroll, uh, which I'll explain in a second. Um, yeah, and also if you sub up, you get a bunch of swag like uh, T-shirts and mugs and tokens and much more. So thank you if, uh, for considering that. Your tips and subs on Ko-Fi also go towards unlocking in-game rewards which uh, for our players here. So use exclamation point unlocks to check out the progress and what you can unlock for tonight's episode. This being the finale, we've got a lot to unlock and I think it will help people um, rather than hurt them. So go check it out, uh, uh, but do it quickly <laughs> so that the effects can be felt. Um, if we're unlocking these things at the last hour, it's, it's, gonna, it's not really going to help. Uh, our party too much. So think about it. Uh, but you can sub or tip anytime. You, we don't have to be live. You don't have to do it during a show. You can sub or tip anytime on Ko-Fi. If we get 500 more people, new subs on Ko-Fi, we can produce content like this. Maybe an ongoing Savage World show. I don't know. Without needing additional support. That means entirely funded by you all. So um, that's our goal. We're trying to get there by September 8th. So tell a friend, you know, forward this on, let them know. Um, having said that, these episodes in particular have been generously sponsored by Pinnacle Ent Entertainment, and we thank them very much for their support. Thank you, everybody. Uh, pressure's off. However, uh, go check out their current Kickstarter. They are uh, currently Kickstarting and I believe already funded for the uh, Curse of the Crimson Throne for Savage Worlds Pathfinder which is amazing. Uh, so go check that out. I think six new classes are available. It's, it's, it's a pretty in-depth uh, thing. And Savage Worlds Pathfinder is, in my personal opinion, the way to play Pathfinder. However, <laughs> don't tell Paizo that. Um, I like both. Uh, but if you like what we do, consider uh, supporting us monthly on Ko-Fi. It really does help. With that, let's saddle up. Okay, first we're going to dole out some bennies. Um, you each get three, except for Gnome, who gets an extra one due to his luck edge. Uh, and <clears throat> what? I also get an extra one. Oh, because you took luck. Oh, no, because oh. of a certain hat I have. Oh, yes. We'll, we will get to that in a second. Okay, so you get, you get an extra one. So, so take note. You have four. Gnome, you have four. Nick and Megan, you both have three. Um, and let me see here. Uh, 
All right. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And we have also, thank you, chat. We have unlocked the first tier. Uh, and everyone gets one more Benny, including me. So I get. I like. Wait. I get four, so I get one more, so I have five now. I have just as many as the people who are lucky. Mm. Um, Okay, we are $10 away from the next tier on the unlock list, so just so y'all know. Um, And uh, yeah, you can sub on Twitch or chat at any level, and you can send a reroll either to the player pool so that any of the players can use it, or to me, the GM. Uh, even if you were gifted a sub, thank you, the Professional Hobbit. Thank you, Stephen, for gifting that sub. If you were gifted a sub, you have the ability, someone gave you that that ability to gift a, uh, a reroll to either the players or to me. So just let a mod know in chat who you like the, uh, the reroll to go to. <laughs> chat or the players are petitioning and chat for for you to send their reroll um <laughs> uh okay um now normally the adventure deck polls would expire at the end of a session and we would do new polls but i'm going to let you keep your polls from last week so no new polls this week however noir wasn't here last week so we are going to yeah. do um we're going to do a poll for you. Let me see if I can remember how I did it. Like polls. Like polar bears. Yeah. Uh, let me see here. If I can click on you. And that's just going to go to you. And so you're going to get three. You get to pick the the one that you want, and then the other two are essentially discarded. You can't use them. Okay? All right. So. I just click on my hand. Click on your hand, yes. Whoa, why did, how did you get that many? That's way too many. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lucky. Um, uh, you get the first, the first three there. The first three? Yeah, All yeah. Right, let's see. So uh, let's read them out. Um, uh, better you than me. When your hero has been hit by an attack and there's another character within five uh, feet, 10 yards, the other character suffer the attack instead. This may be played on a friend or foe. Um, dress to kill. Your hero dresses up, uh, is on for the night, or is otherwise far more attractive or personable than usual. Add plus two to your persuasion rolls for the duration of the current scene. Flesh wound. Play to cause all allied extras, uh, extras wounded in this encounter to rise immediately unshaken and unharmed. I'm, I'm a, I'm a pick flesh wound. It seems like the most considerate for my party. Well, that can only be played towards extras. So the only person oh. that you could play that for is Crispin. Then I'm going to pick better you than me. Okay. I intend to get up close and personal with the uglies, so that'll work out just nice. Great. Okay. Better you than me. So that is that is yours. Uh, all right. Uh, and then, Noir, I believe you have a relic and then, uh, and we'll talk also about Gnome's Relic that we were, we were also deciding about. Noir, why don't you go first? All right. So uh, one day I was playing at a, at a corner and a fellow put down a new hat for me to put coins in. I didn't know nothing about it at the time, but it turns out to be the hat of the legendary Billy the Kid. Mm-hmm. Uh, what it does is Billy was notoriously lucky. Didn't, uh, he survived many gunfights. Uh, most others didn't and escaped from jail cells and captors on multiple occasions. Anyone who finds this dirty, raggedy old hat gets an extra minute per game session. Uh, it does include a taint, however. Hmm. Uh, the hat's wear gains the overconfident hindrance. So. Yes, yes. Not unlike Billy the Kid himself. 
Very nice. Yeah. Um, all right. Yeah. And uh, Gnome, what did what what did we ended up making one for you? I think. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> You you done you done gave me something from a grandpappy. Uh this, this pickaxe that I got already was was special. And it was special because it came from the family. This is years and years of prospecting just passed down from generation to generation. But you see here you see here, the pickaxe <laughs> is magical and it causes a strength of two D six damage, but it also counts as a medium improvised weapon it weighs seven pounds so a little bit hefty and requires a minimum strength of d6 the bear may channel the power of the pickaxe and re-roll any skill when mining is the topic which is great because i'm a prospector and we currently underground in a cave mm -hmm. and uh let's see here uh, and so you could use your, your powers like burrow. Uh, it doesn't apply to crit failures. And guess what? Just like with them hobbit in that hobbit book, you <laughs> it grows green when it's within a hundred feet of a ghost shrike vein. Okay. Okay. Are there any uh, negatives? What's the taint? <laughs> Oh, this thing's tainted like my <laughs> grandmama's soup. All right, so there are many who want this pickaxe. It's pretty dago useful for finding and mining some ghost rock. It's legendary. Hellstrom's agents are constantly on the hunt uh, for the bearer. Uh, you, you wear a big old target on your back, not to mention on a crit fan. Any skill where the power of the pickaxe is being channeled, the captain must make it a medium vigor roll uh, to avoid contracting the old ghost rock fever. Wow. Wow. Okay. Um, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty scary, but also pretty cool. Um, I, I will, uh, for anybody who uh, it backs us on Ko-Fi, I will add the pickaxe to, uh, to our, um, ever growing list of, uh, characters and items and other things that you can use for your own, um, games. But, um, yeah. Uh, okay. Let me see here. All right. Quick recap. After all sharing the same dream, our posse found themselves all coming into the same town at the same time. Drawn together, they share a connection to the Deadlands, but just what that means is unclear. They met a young bar owner named Crispin, who is determined to save her town and who also shared the nightmare with the posse. As they pondered this, Crispin noticed an eavesdropper, who immediately led the group on a chase outside of town and into a canyon dead end. The cave opening... Yep. 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 Okay. And and that's where we are. <laughs> my my writing didn't. I didn't. I always have little breaks so that I know where you know where I'm actually stopping. I didn't have one there. It just went into the to the next thing. <sighs> so you all run into the cave, and uh, the cave opening begins to um, collapse around you, uh, and. In doing so, it does cut off the zombie horde that was approaching you of zombie miners. Um, but uh, you are now blocked. This is this doesn't appear to be a viable exit at this time. Um, and you're plunged into darkness. Let's go over to our map. And I'm going to find some some suitable music here. I'm sure there's something. Existential dread sounds good. <laughs> and you find yourselves um, literally in in darkness. Um, it's very difficult to see anything uh, um, in here. Um, 
And as you are, your eyes are kind of adjusting to um, the the blackness. You eventually see a faint sort of white, green, white, blue light emanating from beyond as the voice that you heard earlier, as soon as you got into the cave that told you to prepare to die, um, sort of echoes down the cavern, almost like a sonar blast. The cavern you're... Huh? Yes. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I oh. was just going to uh, respond to something Franklin was saying. No. Oh. <laughs> um, you can. Franklin, that wasn't you, was it? And also, who was it if it wasn't you? And do you know? Can you see them? I can't see anybody. Can't see anybody. Do you want me to go ahead and check? Oh, yes! Yes, Franklin, if you would do that, that would be fantastic. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll try. Great, great. Franklin's going to check everyone. That ain't that ain't never gonna stop being weird. <laughs> and Franklin, Franklin kind of disappears from view, uh, from you. Um... Um. Oh, what's your character's name? Crystal. Uh, Crystal. Crystal. Yes. <laughs> Crystal. Crystal's your character's name. Crystal's your real name now. Um. Yeah. So, um. Uh. Franklin kind of goes out, and you, the connection that you have with Franklin, feels strained and a little tenuous, and uh. You're. You, you get kind of um, the sensation that that it's almost stretched to its limits. Like if if he goes further, uh, that connection will break and and you may lose Franklin. There's something about this cave. You also feel um, that there is a sense of um, power in this cave uh, especially for you you can feel the tendrils of black magic kind of coursing through here um and gnome uh your grandpappy's pickaxe is glowing faintly oh well we should look at that looks like we're gonna strike some gold today friends is that really what we're concerned about right now? <laughs> I'm always concerned about little gold. Oh. Fair well, enough. Franklin, Franklin, come back. <laughs> I have a question. Yes. How did Franklin's head travel down the cavern? Did it float? Or did he like <sighs> grow ghost limbs and walk away? Or is I Crystal still holding him? Okay. My idea is that this is like the totem that it attaches okay. Franklin here, but okay. that because I mean this isn't literally a skull. But I like to imagine that it is a literal skull. Then I am like just gonna assume that you know what you're doing because I didn't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> to me, you're still yeah. holding the skull, and I'm just like, yeah, I think we should just move. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That but... might be good. We get closer to Franklin that way. And that is exactly what we want. Yes. Yes, it is. Otherwise, I can't help him finish all of his unfinished business. <laughs> or get out of and, here, maybe. And that that would be bad. So let's get yes. moving. And yes, yes. shortly after you have that, that discussion... Um, Franklin comes back or rematerializes around the skull. Oh, I, Franklin! Um, did, did I, I did go, I go anywhere? anywhere? Yeah, you almost went somewhere forever. Because I, I thought you were going to leave, Franklin. And I haven't finished your business yet. I, I 
I didn't feel like I went anywhere. Well, what does that mean? Well, I, I tried to go. And something? something? Like there was, a, there was a block. I, I just kind of felt like I was going, but not going. going. That, that, that does not sound like anything I understand. Um, she will uh, periodically relate what she is getting from Franklin to all of you, so you also know what's happening. Uh, re respectfully, um, <clears throat> while I, I am all keen for us having conversations with skulls and looking at shiny shovels, uh, I'm, I'm also very keen to leave this place. So, uh, while we while we start trekking trekking on ahead, and uh, yeah, I think everybody agrees, and and Crispin nods as well. Don't forget, Crispin is an ally, and you control Crispin. So, I am uh, unless you tell me somehow, some way, otherwise, uh, Crispin. Crispin will just stand still unless you tell me that Crispin is with you. I assume Crispin is walking with you. And in fact, I'm getting a little echo from me. Can you all hear that? I don't know where that's coming from. Okay. Um, uh, at that moment, a blood-curdling scream can be heard down the cavern. And Crispin stops dead in her tracks and says Jesus they have the kids uh and and kids. you you hear Crispin go down on all fours and she says I I I think my foot was is on like a track or something if maybe there's a minecart or something around here that we might be able to like push and get going so that we can get there faster like I I I this is this is I, I don't know what's going on, but we have to get those children out of here. And you are, you now, there's a cacophony of, of children's screams uh, mixed with what sound like maybe adult screams and, and just terror echoing down this cavern back and forth. Um, I will remind you, it is pitch black. Other than the light you see very, very far down the cavern, there's almost no light for you to see anything. Uh, uh, we need, we need, can, can anybody in this group make fire? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I've got it. And I'm gonna, oh, great. I'm gonna pull out uh, my flint that I have for my dynamite. <laughs> no, I'm going to stop you right there. <laughs> I have a torch and matches. We are not going to blow ourselves to smithereens. Oh, no, no. The yes. flint is just for the dynamite, but I can use it for your torch is what I'm saying. No worries. I I, I, I would never blow you fine people up. You seem, you seem nice. I hope it stays that way. I'll hold out the torch to be lit. <laughs> and I'll light it. Great. Okay. Uh, let's see here. You all now get a little bit more vision here. As I update, thank you again, Salieri C. Um, we're using, uh, some swim modules, uh, on a foundry. Let me go over to foundry here, which are, uh, helping us tremendously. All right. So now you, you have a little bit more vision to go off of. Um, and you do indeed see as as the light kind of fills the cavern, you do indeed see that there is um, what looks like a rail cart um, uh, or a railway essentially for the mining carts that goes down the cavern 
and um, near you, uh, just a little bit like at the 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 curve, this first curve, um, just right above you, uh, you see um, there's a mine cart there that you can probably get in and um, and negotiate with to try to get it rolling. Do we know if this is an active mine, or should we be more careful than to just hop into old rickety uh, mine carts? No, oh, oh, old oh, rickety mine carts are good. There's quality. I respect oh. your expertise in this matter, but uh, that does not look safe to me. Ah, I try to warn somebody like got a foot in it. <laughs> like, what do you mean it's not safe? I mean, we don't know exactly what's ahead. What if there's a big break in it, or say a giant monster in the middle of the minecart that we then go careening into? Just Franklin. You know. Franklin did say there was there was nothing ahead. Uh, like like he went somewhere but didn't. So for all we know, it could be nothingness. <laughs> I just, I just want to preface. I didn't see anything because I didn't go anywhere. Even though I did. I see. Well, Franklin look, is a little unsure of what actually happened. Uh, I think Othello's gonna try and help Charlie get the rest of the way in and just kind of look back at the rest of the group. Lucky for y'all, y'all bought the biggest, baddest monster in this mine with you, so ain't nothing to worry about. I'll make sure that we all get out of here safe, and we gonna round up the little ones, and we all gonna get out of here just fine. You What's know what? Point? That's that's overconfident, if if I ever saw it. So give yourself another Benny, a fellow. I thought you were Crispin for a second, and I was like, <laughs> Making a lot of assumptions about this uh, game, aren't we, Crispin? <laughs> uh, I, I've I've seen I've seen the devil, and I'm sure that we ain't got nothing to worry about. You survive. I've survived worse than this. So, why don't you find people, get yourselves inside that cart, and I'll push it, and we'll be on our way. I right, well. still have my horse, correct? If you brought your horse into the cave with you, then I yes. never got this is like directly after I would just leave him, so I feel like yeah. I have him. You couldn't ride the horse into the cave, but you could have right. pulled them in um behind you. So yeah, yeah, you do have your horse. Tahatka. How tall is the cave ceiling? Is it tall enough? Can I ride in the cave? Um it it does look it's it's um yeah you could ride in the cave although you're going to have to kind of maneuver and duck around um some stalagmites stalactites stalactite no nope. yeah stalactites Something spiky yeah doesn't matter i'll just shoot him down there we go <laughs> yeah just uh, I'll just, I'll just shoot down some stalactites in here you going to cause yourself an avalanche Oh, we do not want that, no. Do you... I, mean, I doubt y'all can survive it. So, yeah, do you want... Do, do some of you want to get into the minecart? Or, or I'll get no? in it. Okay. I'll get in it. I'm ready to go. <laughs> I don't think well? you can fit a horse in there, so I will be taking my own more uh, reliable, less likely to fall off the rails method of transportation, but don't you worry, I will be right behind you. Oh, the hot guy yeah. is the, uh, the fastest horse uh, this side of the country, so. And the other yeah. one, so I'll be fine. Well, all <laughs> right, then. Uh, um, Chris, do you need help getting in this here cart? Oh, no, but thank you. Thank you for asking. Uh, and she just kind of uh, like slowly slides in as creepily as she possibly can. <laughs> <laughs> just like, ooh, ugh. Um, yeah. yeah, and Crystal, the, the thought of getting deeper into this cave is a little intoxicating um, just because the power 
coming and emanating from deeper inside this cave, you can you can almost feel it, and you don't often get that sensation uh, of of power literally reaching out uh, to you. Um, you usually have mm. to pull it from somewhere, but here the power is almost all encompassing. Mm. Um, so you all get into the minecart. Crispin also will get into the minecart. Um, and Othello, you give it a mighty push and, uh, you start rolling along and, um, it, it will, it can go on its own, um, uh, power essentially, um, right now. There is a, there is what looks like a rickety rope, um, attached to it that, that, connects to a, a sort of a pulley system um, back near the cave entrance, but that is buried now, so the rope is just kind of coming out of rock essentially, uh, but it is essentially what is maintaining any sort of um, um, connection for this for this minecart. Uh, and yeah, you start going down the, the cave, and as you go just the the screams and sounds of torture just are kind of wafting over you and passing and you hear these loud hums just as you pass through and it's just like vroom, 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 as you as you go deeper and deeper into the cave Let's move y'all and you kind of come around this first corner and um, you see what looks like um, the lights ahead of you um, and as you get closer to those lights, they move further away. And the more you travel along this track, the more that those lights just kind of stay a fixed distance away from you. And you don't seem to be getting any closer, although the sounds are just, it's a cacophony in your ears and it, the sounds are getting louder, but you don't seem to be any closer to a destination. You just want to keep are going? We, are we moving? I, I do believe we are moving, but it does seem like those lights keep keeping pace ahead of us. Franklin, are we moving? I think so. Yeah. This it is some magic like... trickery mumbo jumbo. Yeah, um, I mean, Daka is definitely moving forward. Um, and the mine is right along with you. I'm going to keep moving forward, but I am going to have my hand at my gun. Okay. Uh, I would like to use my claws to scratch at the wall and to see if I see mm -hmm. that scratch again. Okay. Um, so you reach out and your claws extend out and you swipe at the wall as you pass it. And that scratch goes by, and you don't see it again. Yeah, but the light, moving. the light continues to stay ah. at a certain distance. And you get deeper and deeper into this cave. And if you look behind you, you can see the, the, the end of the rope kind of vanishes at the edge of the torchlight and um, around you, you start to see 
what looks like um, wooden scaffolding and other bits and pieces that um, Charlie, you would recognize as people working a mine, essentially. Um, and you see bits and pieces there, and amidst the the sounds of of people um, and the torture, uh, you hear some voices kind of calling out to each other um, a little bit, and some strange words being said. Y'all want to take a stop? And I put my hand on the, on the, in the emergency brake. And yeah, the, the mine cart kind of slows to a halt and lets out a little shriek of, uh, metal on metal, um, and, um, grinds to a halt and you feel the, the light that was a fixed distance away kind of comes rocketing forward and you feel that there is something right around this corner. You all sort of get the sensation that you've arrived somewhere. Uh, and, and Crystal, the, the feelings of, of fear and um, dark magic are really appear to be emanating from this area. I feel so powerful here, which is both <laughs> wonderful, but also probably really bad for all of us. <laughs> but if you're more powerful, then we should be fine. Let's go. Uh, 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 well, uh, me and everything else that maybe is around here, but yes. <laughs> well, if things get sticky, let's just stick together. And if it gets too sticky, if I tell you to run, you should probably run. Uh, yes. And, uh, yeah. Do you want to move forward? And, and if so, how? And, um, yeah, give me a marching order, basically. Is there uh, more, uh, rail for us to go down? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it seems, it seems to go... Into the into the abyss, basically. Um, okay. You could you could probably keep writing this, who knows how long. But um, it honestly, it feels like you've probably bought, been in this minecart for twenty, maybe thirty minutes or more. It it honestly has felt like a very long time, but it's it's only really been about twenty or thirty minutes. Which is uh, still very long to be riding in a minecart. <laughs> I, I don't think Othello's gonna wait. I think he's just gonna hop out. And, uh, now y'all follow me. We'll be yeah, alright. I'm gone. Forward. Okay. I'll follow too. I um, have, the, okay, I have the torch, so I'm like, if someone wants it, I don't care, I'm going. There's only one way out, and it's forward, so whatever's there, I will kill it. I don't care if it's dead already. I'll kill it twice. Can be harder, but yes, I I understand the sentiment. But not impossible. <laughs> Very true. Let's see here. Let's see if I can do this. Uh... Okay. Um, all right. Uh, do you want to move cautiously or... Um, or do you just want to go forward? I'm impulsive, so I'm just gonna... I don't care. My eye is forward-facing. There's only one way out, and I don't care how I get there, so I'm gone. Great. Um, uh, take a Benny for that, the by the way. Our fellow's gonna be doing the same. Uh, we're trying to keep a respectful distance away from... Uh, away from uh, uh, Taneki's uh, horse. <laughs> yeah, don't you dare spook me in the middle of a fight. I will kick you in the head. Can't help it. It's a matter of me just being what I am. Um, okay, so you're just moving forward. Uh, both of you are moving forward. Um, Crystal, Charlie, what are you doing? Um, I will also follow, but I will try to be a little stealthier. Okay. 
Um, so, uh, Charlie, what do you want to do? Yeah, I'm going to be, uh, Charlie's going to be pretty as quiet as quiet can be, but he's, he's got his pickaxe out kind of ready just in case. Okay. Um, so would you say you're trying to be stealthy? Oh yeah. He's going to be cautious. Okay. Okay. Um, Just a weird vibe, ghost rock, zombies. Okay. Uh, Charlie and Crystal, give me um, a stealth roll. And Othello and Danitki, give me notice rolls. I got a six. Okay. Got three. All right. What did you get, Nick? East six and six. So you can keep rolling. Oh yeah. Yeah. If both if both of those if both of those roll to six, then then you can roll both of them again. Uh, three. Okay, so you got a nine total. Um, Okay, that's a success with a raise. Uh, Noir, you got a three, and um, uh, Gnome, you also got a three? Okay. Uh, So, Crystal, you um, are moving as silently as as you can, uh, and you don't appear to be making any noise and you're able to kind of hug the wall a little bit. Um, And you eventually come around the corner along with uh, um, Danitki and Othello. And uh, you were able to kind of hide a little bit behind Dohatki, uh, Dohatka, so you're kind of hidden a little bit behind the horse. <laughs> but um, Othello and Danitki, you kind of take the, the vanguard and you are able to come around the corner and you see the scaffolding and you see um, uh, uh, like what looks like a platform um, above you that leads, it looks like it connects two higher uh, pieces together. And there's a little bit of of an incline, um, like a like a rock incline that goes towards one of the platforms. But you're not sure if it's climbable or not. But it, it could be. Uh, and and that's kind of what you see around here. And you see that light kind of emanating from just beyond and a little bit to the left. Uh, and you hear. Um, the the screams kind of start to subside and make way for a moaning and uh, sort of a droning um, moan, for lack of a better word. Um, and that's what you hear. And Crystal, you can kind of hear that too. Um, but you, because of the way that you're hiding, you don't quite have the vantage point um, that the others have. Um, Othello, perhaps it's your overconfidence, but you step out a little too far. Um, and as Charlie is getting out of the minecart, it tips a little bit where usually it would tip to dump out its contents. It tips a little bit and Charlie, you kind of fall and make a little bit of a noise um, as you kind of roll over uh, and hit the hit the wall of the cave. And uh, Othello, you, out of the corner of your eye, you see um, a figure start to move towards you. Well, here we go. Uh, now that I see that they're coming towards... Is there any way that I can, like, duck under the shadows to try and stealth up to them? How do you want to do that? Uh, I will gladly go ghost. 
to make it okay. harder to see me as I fade into the shadow. Okay. And then recorporealize. Uh, it just kind of sneak forward. Okay. Um, so we're we're about to get into it, and um, we're 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 getting close to what some might call a combat. Uh, but let's sort of describe a little bit what's happening here. So. Um, Othello is a herald for those of you who are just joining us, and has uh, some notable edges that allow him to do some things that non herald people wish they could do. <laughs> and one of those things is turning into a ghost, basically becoming incorporeal but still visible. And uh, if you would like to do that, I will give you a bonus to a stealth roll to move around this person and get behind them. Uh, I will give you a, a plus two to um, to move around them. All right. Um, I'm trying to see how I add plus two. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I'll just oh there it is. I'll just add the plus two to the trait roll. Wow. Roll. Great. Okay. Uh, so, yes, you got a five. So that's a success. Um, and uh, you are able to move around. Um, so go ahead and uh, I, you should be able to move. Can you see ahead of you? Yes, I can. So go ahead and move behind the guy that you uh. see. On the tracks. I don't believe I'm able to move because the game is paused. Oh, there. Now move. There we go. Um, uh, and, before, and before he does this, he kind of looks at uh, Taniki and goes, you might want to cover your horse's eyes. This might spook him. I mean, you just kind of see his skin rot all the way down to the skeleton and all that's left is the spirit. Yeah, he's not the only one. <laughs> you know what? I wish I covered my eyes now too. That was that was a mistake. That's on my that's my bad. Um, well, I'm like one of my hands has is on my gun, so I'm gonna just. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm yeah. giving you so many apples after this. I promise. Please. So I, I love that. I love that. So so you, the trapping of uh, of ghost is basically you you dematerializing it goes like the invisible man it just goes layer by layer until there's nothing left of you and uh the outline of you is still there and the the spirit of you is still there but it is it is intangible um and you kind of move silently around this uh creature who um does not look well <laughs> for lack of a better term um but does seem fixated on what is ahead of it uh and you are behind it however as you come around you are now you are able to see more of what is here and there are a number of uh creatures milling about here but also there are some people higher up on the platform and on the on the uh uh, I don't know, plateau, if you will, uh, in this cave. Um, and one of them looks, um, at least this, the two people you can see readily, uh, one of them recognize, one of them you recognize as the, uh, frothing young man who, uh, you all attempted to put down earlier in the chase, Denton. Um, hmm. I think seeing these people, um, he's gonna recorporealize and attack this one, hoping the noise will draw them in his direction rather than to them. Okay. Um, so describe what you want to try to do. Uh, 
So I'm, he's recorporeal again, and uh, he's going to activate his claws, where another like pair of hands wrap around his, and then they sharpen with claws. He's just gonna dig into the back of uh, the one that he's standing behind. Okay. Uh, all right. We're we're skipping to surprise attacks. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, no, this the is drop? good. The it's drop. Billy the Kid's hat. Usually a fellow's more careful, but it's just the like, drop I will... can do anything. Yeah. So um, so you get the drop. Um, and uh, so you get plus four to this attack. Uh, and, um, and plus four um, to the damage roll as well. Um, so go ahead and, uh, make your attack roll. This will be a fighting roll. Uh, With a plus four. Don't forget. Yeah. That is, uh, a success. You rolled a seven. So it's almost, well, let's see here, actually. Um... That is a success, but not a success with a raise. Uh, Boom. Yeah. Um, so uh, roll a roll your damage. And don't forget, you get to add a plus four to this. Do not roll your wild die and damage. Yes, sir. So let me go to my gear, my claws. A plus four, you said? Yep. Yeah, that'll be uh, 16 mirror damage. Uh, oof, okay. Um, that is uh, a success with a raise, with a raise, with a raise. Uh, that is three raises. This is an extra. You only needed to wound them once. So your claws come out and and describe what you do to this, well, for lack of a better term, this zombie. I just kind of claw it in the back and I grab the spinal cord and then I turn its face to me and I just go, you should have made a better deal. And then I rip it out. <laughs> and it just goes, uh, and then goes down. However, um, you have... You have alerted uh, the others to your presence by becoming corporeal again. Uh, and you have more baddies coming your way. Whoa, that was crazy. <laughs> okay. That was uh, dramatic. <laughs> that was very that was so dramatic. Cool. Feel, that made me feel real badass just now. <laughs> yeah. I like to imagine that happened in, like, as we were doing that. We all heard it in the cavern. You say your line and that there's, like, a dramatic noise. Yes, yes. It's part of your uh, your abilities. <laughs> hey, man, I'm just going to look to the group to go. Tell you you brought the baddest monster with you. <laughs> I wasn't arguing. Um, <laughs> it's true. And uh, you now find yourself um, uh, cornered a little bit by um, other zombies, and um, as as they march forward, and you drop your um, excuse me your your kill here. Uh, um, the zombies stop short of you, and um, the <laughs> the uh, uh, they just eye you um, with a sort of a slack jawed expression and um, almost gazeless eyes. Their their pupils are almost completely whited out, and uh, uh, their iris is almost gone, and. Um, but you can tell they perceive you, but they are um, not, uh, they are not engaging you. Um, and you hear uh, a voice come up and go, <laughs> Well, 
It looks like our guests are here. Welcome, friends. I know you're hiding out there, but uh, why don't you make yourselves known and uh, perhaps we could make a deal. Ain't nobody hiding, fella. And I think I'm all sick of deals. And uh, he comes forward a little bit further and you see Denton kind of starting to circle around. And uh, are you alone, stranger, or? Well, no, you, you're you not alone, are you? You you have someone with you. That, that, now that's who I would like to talk to. Are you sure? Oh, I am very sure. Well, I think I'd like to introduce you to a few more earthly friends of mine. And I'm pretty sure one of them is Crack Shaw. All right. Danitki, you had a success with a raise on your notice roll. So you are in a position to hear what is going on. And you saw Othello take out one of these zombies. Uh, but you do see that Othello appears to be getting surrounded. And you hear faintly um, this gentleman calling out to Othello and calling out to all of you. His voice booms uh, throughout the corridor. And um, you all can kind of hear his, uh, his voice kind of echo as those screams have now kind of almost completely subsided. Um, and Deniki, you're not seeing any bystanders. You don't see children. You don't see um, uh, prisoners of any kind. Um, you're, you're just kind of seeing what you see on the map. I told you it was mumbo jumbo. Um, I'm going to, I, did I hear him refer to me, a fellow? Yes. I'm going to go out there and join him. There's no point in hiding. Okay. Uh, go ahead and join, join up with him then. Uh, and, uh, all you others, you do hear this. Um, you, uh, you kind of can hear what's going on, not as well as the neat key, but you do hear the the gentleman's voice proclaiming that he knows someone's out here hiding. Mm. Um, I think Crystal's impulse is to try to continue to hide, but um, she's also curious um, so I, I feel like I could kind of go either way. I'll, I'll say she, she also kind of comes a little bit closer, uh, maybe to underneath this kind of bridge. Is, is that an underneath thing? Or maybe underneath it? Technically you are underneath the bridge. Yes. Okay. But I won't say anything. I'll just come a little closer and try to keep to the shadows. Okay. Um, give me a stealth roll, another stealth roll. Oh, that is sad. I got two threes. I'm going to re-roll it with a Benny. All right. Are you, wait, are you using one of your Bennies or one of your player Bennies? Because uh, you all have, there are seven player Bennies that you can pull from, from your player pool. None of it matters. I, I crit failed. I crit failed. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just going to use one of my Bennies. Okay. Okay. You crit failed. Okay. Um. <sighs> Bye, Crystal. <laughs> I'm not going to kill nice Crystal on a crit fail. You. Not on this crit fail, anyway. Stealth um, crit fail. Uh, Crystal, you are edging along the um, the 
the wall, basically. Trying to stick to the wall, stick to the shadows. Try and get into a spot where you can kind of see everything and maybe have a little bit of, uh, of, of oversight, maybe, uh, on what's happening. And um, the... Um, uh, thank you for that donation, TJ Regular. And that feeling of um, ultimate power... Um, kind of clouds you for a moment and you briefly become uh, unaware of your surroundings um, and you make it under the uh, um, under that bridge that's kind of on top of you connecting those two platforms uh, but um, you hear a voice above you that says uh Ah, uh, 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 little girl, I don't think you should be, uh, you should be going any further here. And you look above you, and, uh, th there is a woman standing on top of the platform, um, who looks remarkably familiar. Uh-oh. Um, this is a... Well, she looks like she was a Wichita witch. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. But, uh, but she's not quite, she, she's not wearing the mask that Wichita witches normally wear. But she is definitely, she's clad in all black. And she has sort of dark uh, braided hair um, in, in a large um, ponytail basically behind her. She has dark skin and um, the tips of her fingers, like yours, are kind of coated in black. Uh, and her eyes, like yours, are dripping black too. And um, she, she has that look like Franklin has almost of this the power that you know that you get when when you are casting uh, and start to lose control and her eyes are completely black and um, yeah she looks like she has been corrupted entirely um Okay, so you are a little bit cornered here. Um, that's that's what I'm going to rule happened in the crit fail. Is basically you got found out, uh, and yeah. uh, uh, she essentially has the drop on you, although she's not doing anything. So, Heesh. yeah. Uh, and now, um, Charlie, is there anything you would like to do? Oh, yeah. Who, who's out there saying so we're hiding in the shadows? I want to <laughs> run up around this corner here and go ahead and start climbing and huffing and puffing my way up those stairs. And, uh, and, and I want to, I, I got, I did the thing, I advanced with a skill so I could talk some mother truckers. And I would like to taunt these son of bitches. Because it's better to be alive than to be undead and to be an undead yellow belly. So. <laughs> that hurt my feelings just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you undead, you ain't got no feelings. <laughs> um, <laughs> One rotten tear comes down. <laughs> So you want to you want to taunt the zombies? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, give me a taunt roll. Ooh. I don't think I've ever taunted in the game. Yeah. Let's see. Taunt, 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 taunt. There we go. Papayam, papayam. Oh, that's not great. I'm gonna go ahead and use a Benny. That's a four. The uh, four is a success. Oh, okay. Then I won't use a penny. Yeah, target target number is usually a four. So uh, oh, I'm I'm. Yeah, I can hear my. Okay, uh, target target number is uh, usually a four. So uh, if you hit a four, 
you're golden, uh, but if you get four above that, that's a raise. So um, extra extra fun things happen sometimes with that. Do you want to re-roll that? Do you want to try to get a raise? No, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. It's a success. That's all I need. I don't. I'm not here to push my luck too much. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me see here. Uh Okay. Um are you trying to um test the the zombies? I am trying to draw their attention to perhaps give my compadres a better advantage. Like distract um, them? Would that yeah. be a better You can you can okay, so there's two there's two things you can do. You can distract or you can make vulnerable. If you distract them, they are at a negative two to do anything. If you make them vulnerable Everybody has a plus two to do something to them. Okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and, and give everybody a plus two. Okay. okay, so you're going to make the zombies vulnerable. Let me see if I can do that here. All right. They're vulnerable. Um, okay. Um, great. Uh, and did you move up to do that? Yeah, I'm, I'm moving up. I, I, can't, I can't see how many squares I can move. The map's uh, a bit dark, so I don't know how, many, how far I can go. Well, yeah, your pace, your pace is like... S five or six so i think my pace is slow is even slower because i'm i'm a big boy yeah so you that can boy, probably move Nick. <laughs> <laughs> you so can sorry. probably move up to uh <laughs> to where crystal is Ah, I clicked on the uh, I clicked on the ruler and I can't unclick the. There we go, unclick the ruler. Okay, there, there we, we go. go. Perfect. Okay, great. Uh, you do that, and now you all can kind of see this guy who's standing on the platform, and he looks um, he looks handsome. Uh rather gaunt tall uh he has a vest and uh a nice bolo tie and a black hat and um all black attire essentially and um he goes oh i knew i knew that there were more of you here well welcome welcome my friends i i see you have uh uh, 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 been speaking to my uh, associates here, but uh, rest assured, they are not the only ones here who can uh, taunt and intimidate. But I don't have to do that to you. We're all friends here, am I right? You, uh, uh, Jessica, who do you have with you? And the woman above you uh, goes... Oh, I know her. This is Crystal. Crystal Void. Oh, <laughs> it is nice to have you here. Someone that I share such affinity with. And I don't share anything with you. Oh, but you do. <laughs> but you do. And Denton, uh, you hear Denton. And... Yeah, I know who 
you are. You can't kill me so easily. I know what you have, too. And I'll take it off your corpse. You can damn well try. Can, can I attempt to see if uh, our gaunt, tall, handsome fella seems to share the same ailment that I have? Um... No, and I'll tell you why okay. no, because okay. there is an edge that Harrowed can take that allows them to identify other Harrowed. Um, ah. uh, and um, in some cases with Denton, it's quite easy to tell that uh, he is Harrowed. He, he has skin falling off of him and he has clearly um, been dead a while. But uh, uh, you don't see any obvious signs of, of this uh, gentleman being um, harrowed. Uh, I, now, now, listen, friends. Listen, I, I don't want this to come to blows, and I, I sense that you all are a little trigger happy. Well, let's just discuss things, shall we? Just, just a little conversation amongst acquaintances. That's all I'm asking for. I wouldn't want to fight me neither. What you got to say? And where are the kids? Oh, well, I clearly don't have any children here. I don't know where these kids are that you're seeking. Perhaps your senses are playing tricks on you. I don't know what you're talking about. But what I do know is that you are all powerful and I can sense that and I'm offering you a deal join me and together we will take down the reckoners and we will have the power that is rightfully ours surely that's what you want uh, is that a name we've heard before um, recognize everybody give me an occult roll Ooh, I aced it nice Ooh, I did it again uh, 17 17 yes Charlie I, I I don't have a cold. I don't know nothing. It's a D4 minus two. You can still roll. Oh, go oh gosh. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Uh, Deniki. That's a two. <laughs> Othello. That'll be a one, sir. Oh, wow. do, any, do any of you want to re-roll? I'm gonna take a Benny and re-roll. Okay, you're taking one of one of, from the player pool. Yes. Okay. Four. There you go. Great. All right. It was a six minus a two. <laughs> nice. Um, wait, was it a six on the die? Yeah. Does so, the minus two cancel out if it's a six? It it doesn't cancel out, but you can still so re-roll. You still aced it, so you can roll again. Mm -hmm. Uh, three is the higher one. Uh, you just and you just re-rolled one die, right? You didn't re-roll yeah, both die. Yeah, just yeah, just the one. Just the one that you is. So that's a total yeah. of nine minus two is a seven. seven. So you're one away from a raise. Um, mm. I am gonna let you know. Crystal seems like she knows what she's doing. <laughs> I am not a fan of this mumbo jumbo <laughs> nonsense. So whatever I know, I'm sure she knows more. Uh, her and her her friend, right. who is definitely right. not imaginary. <laughs> 
I'm not convinced entirely that it's not. <laughs> um, yeah, so to all of you except for Crystal, the Reckoners, that is not a term you have heard before. Um, you, you have heard of greater spirits, greater demons, greater uh, powers that be, um, that may or may not have effects uh, on the world, but uh, that's about the extent of your knowledge. Crystal, through your deep dives into the hunting grounds and pulling power from where you should not be pulling power, uh, you have directly come into um, uh, the the orbit of Reckoners. You have not seen a Reckoner. You have not been confronted by a Reckoner. And you don't know anyone who has. But you know the power that the Reckoners have. And you know that these are entities of vast power that exist and um, are are in the in the world and are shaping the world and everything around in it. And uh, for someone to openly challenge the Reckoners, um, you would you would think that they would either be um, immensely powerful themselves or have an immensely huge hubris. Uh, that that makes them think that they can beat the Reckoners. Um, but that's that's your sensation. And um, because you rolled so well on there, um, you know Jessica, you knew her when she was a Wichita witch. And I don't think you were ever a Wichita witch. Um, mm. But um, the trainings that you went through and uh how you were kind of taught witchcraft certainly the the name of the wichita witches was known to you and um jessica is a rather notorious uh former wichita witch who um did her due diligence and uh and her duty as as a witch as a wichita witch rather um, and, and, um, but you know that she kept reaching into that dark pool of magic, uh, and eventually allowed it to corrupt her completely. And you know that she craves power more than anything. Uh, and this, this fear that has taken over the town of Gumption has um, uh, infused you and her with with this power, but she has let herself go to it. Uh, it is freely coursing through her, whereas you have a level of control as to how much that black magic is um, uh, that you're allowing it to corrupt you for now anyway. Mm. Um, I think Crystal kind of says from the shadows, why, why, what makes you think we would need your help to take on the Reckoners? And also, why would you want our help? Why wouldn't you just take it for yourself? If you can already do it, what can we add to it? Uh, that's a mighty fine question, mysterious stranger. Uh, mind showing your face? She'll like inch forward just a little bit to where the uh, light like hits to her nose. <laughs> Very well, uh, Crystal, was it? Yes. And he puts his thumbs in the pockets of his vest, and you you all see him, and he just kind of ambulates around the platform. He he seems completely unaffected that you just one-shotted hit one of his pet zombies uh and uh and then basically um taunted the others into into some submission of sorts and he uh 
kind of walks around and says, well, well, <laughs> I don't need anybody to defeat the Reckoners, but uh, even the Reckoners have their servitors, so um, I figure you all want power. You all need power. I can provide that to you. And you can do my will around the world. And who are you again? Uh, well, most folks call me Wasp. Wasp. Is that a name that we should know? Um, uh, everybody give me a common knowledge roll at a minus two. I got a one. Got a zero. One. Got a two. <laughs> Would anybody like to re-roll? No, I think it's funnier if this is what I do. I just yeah. don't know who he is. Yeah. I'm just like, I don't know who that is, and I do not know where I'm, why I'm supposed to care. Yeah. Oh. I feel uh, like if you were really that powerful, I would have heard of you somewhere before, but... Now this is news to me. Well, you don't know who the Reckoners are, do you? I do, and I still don't know who you are. <laughs> well, yeah, what she said. <laughs> generally, the more powerful you are, the harder you are to know. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, well, that's I, what I you say. I don't know about that. <laughs> that, that sounds like the opposite. I thought it Usually. was the, the more powerful you is, the the, the more you known. Uh, I am not in the business of becoming anybody's reckoner. I won't speak for my uh, compatriots here, but um, no. No, I don't think that I want to help you, because surely, the reckoners, you'll die. Um, Crystal also kind of like turns around to all of you and just says the Reckoners are mm, not gods exactly but for lack of a better way of putting it they might as well be and they are the ones that are here to bring the apocalypse whenever it is that they uh, do come and this man or person uh, would like to take all of their power and claims to do so and is asking if we would like to work for him <laughs> it's hilarious really whenever you think about it but just so Marshall, we're all on the same page I, I got a question is deception a skill in this or can <laughs> one perhaps use performance yes yes so uh performance or persuasion depending on what you're trying to do i think our fellow's gonna go well, hell, if they're trying to start the apocalypse, I think Wasp might be on to something here. Uh, I don't, I don't, no good sounds like it comes from letting folks go around picking the apocalypse whenever they choose. Oh, well, maybe, yes. maybe our first impression of Mr. Wasp here isn't exactly the right one. And hmm. I would like to act very much like I'm interested in this deal. <laughs> okay. Um, so give me a performance roll. Uh, mm -hmm. And um, yeah, just give me a performance roll. I'm going to look at him like he just sprouted another head. <laughs> yeah, I think Crystal's also confused. <laughs> a nine. A nine? Mm hmm. Okay, that is a success with a raise. Uh, and if I could get away with it, I would like to look at my crew and give them a very charming undead wink. Um, okay. Um, I, would you, since you got a raise, I will allow you to give a quick wink to your friends that is not caught by uh, the wasp here. Well, there we go. Finally, some sense. Maybe that demon in your head is uh feeding you some good ideas for once but um uh well w welcome welcome uh othello was it 
fellow king. A fellow king. Yes. Well, I will make you a king, a fellow. <laughs> I think I like the sound of that. And if I could, I'd like to walk a little closer to him. Um, yeah. And his life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to head about here if he'll let me. Yeah, you could, well, no, not quite. Um, okay. The, uh, the, the, the zombies kind of move with you and mm -hmm. form something of a wall between you and Wasp. Uh, you feel like you could probably, uh, maneuver around them, but, mm -hmm. uh, but they are, um, they are effectively blocking you from from Barricade. coming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, the wasp goes. Well, okay, okay. No, no. He just wants to give you a hug. <laughs> I recognize that uh, power recognizes power here, and uh, before we uh, seal the deal, as it were. Why don't you hand over the reins to your friend there? Well, that'll get messy for everybody involved. You see, I'm the one that's interested in the deal here. My friend is interested in seeing how much of this here mine I can cover in everybody's blood. He's a really temperamental sort. Well, it sounds like your friends aren't coming along on this deal, so maybe I could use that. Gonna need to show a little trust before I kill my former compatriots here. Why don't you show me a little trust and let the demon out? Take out one of these people, then I'll know that you're one of us. Which one? The one on the horse. And Denton, Denton goes, No! That one's mine. Looks like there seems to be some disagreement between you and your friends. If any one of you takes one step closer to me, I will blow what exists of your brains all over this cavern wall. <laughs> all right, then. <sighs> the witch. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> You can try. <laughs> I know that you are very dangerous, but I have a few things up my sleeve. What if I kill Franklin the girl's is the horse? most overpowered of us all. <laughs> well, what if I killed a girl's horse? I don't care about a horse. You should. It's a really good horse. I don't care about a horse. I don't care how good it is. It could be a okay, unicorn, well, and I don't care. Okay, that's just insulting. <laughs> All right, Crystal, it is. Uh, and I would like to go ghost. Okay. Um, and as I make my way over to Crystal, I'd like to find a particularly shadowy spot and try and stealth. Um, okay. Are you trying to get away f from their... I'm trying to break his line of sight on me as I head towards Crystal. Okay. Um... It's going to be very difficult because okay. Jessica is Overwatch here. Um, and, mm. uh, and is able to, um, see everything <laughs> that's coming through. So, uh, um, I will let you try to do this, but it's going to be a, a uh, it's going to be a straight roll. It's a negative two, okay. but you get a plus two cause you're incorporeal and see through. Yep. Uh, and as I turn to look at my party, I just go. Sorry, Crystal. Ain't nothing personal. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna... Here we go. <laughs> yeah. A seven. That's with the minus two. Uh oh. Let me. I'm sorry. Let me do that again. I thought it was a straight roll. Oh, no, it's, 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 you're right. You're right. It is a straight roll. Seven. All right. That is a success, but not a success with a raise. Would you like to try to re-roll uh, that? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna use one of my bennies. I got five. Okay. Yeah, a nine. Nine, Whoa. great. All right, that is a success with a raise. So, um, you are able. Well, you know what? She's going to try to notice you, to try to keep her eye on you. Oh. Let's see if she can do that. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Um, okay, so she also got a nine, um, wow. which means that, um, let's see here, you don't break sight of Jessica, but you did get a success with a raise, so um, mm -hmm. you, you did break line of sight with Wasp and with Denton and with the zombies. But Jessica still has a bead on you. She still sees where you went. Okay. Um. I would like to go where Jessica is if I can manage it. Um, you're going to have to go climb up and get up to this platform. Okay. Uh, and I want to do it with the intent of like appearing like I'm going to rain down on Crystal. Um. Okay. If I, I, yeah. I'll roll something extra if I have to, uh, like a performance check or something, like for deception. Yeah, give me give me a performance roll to to try to convince Jessica that you are coming up to get the drop. Okay, here we go. Don't film me now. Yeah, I'm. Gonna use another one of my minis. That's a good okay. five. That's a oh, five. I'm okay. So, I'm so sorry, y'all. <laughs> that's an eight. There we go. Okay. Um, so uh, that's a success with a raise. So mm -hmm. yeah, you are able. Uh, what do you say to Jessica? Uh, I'm. All of my words are gonna be like taunting at Crystal. And it's just gonna You're be. Hurt her feelings. Don't yeah. worry, don't worry, Crystal. I'll take good care of Franklin, and I'll make it quick. And then yeah. I would like to attack Jessica. Uh. Okay. All right. So move, move next to Jessica. Um. Ooh. Where is Jessica? <laughs> Jessica, Jessica is uh, right to the bottom left of uh, Crystal. Oh, okay, I see her. Like, right here. Yep. Okay. Um, we are now in a combat. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this no, don't, don't, it was gonna happen. I've been waiting ever. for this one. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't be happen. sorry. <laughs> yeah. um, but I'm gonna change this music. Figure you take their magic user out first. Yeah, but seriously. Kaneki has a clear shot of did of, the, of, the, of our bad guy here, and I, I I believe I believe in Chuck to take out some zombies. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie. All righty, let's divvy out. There we go. Uh, okay, so. Um, Jessica gets an ace of clubs. Um, uh, let's see, which... Okay, the leftmost zombie has a jack of diamonds, 
Uh, then the middle one has a 10 of diamonds, and then the other one has a 9 of diamonds. They're all moving essentially on the same go. Uh, the wasp has an 8 of diamonds. Denton, wait, these are all diamonds. What the heck? Wow. Yeah, I don't know how that well is, this was shuffled. That is bonkers. Okay, um, I That's will... weird. Yeah. We're all Let moving on the same turn. <laughs> Let me... Okay, reset. Reset initiative. All right. I'm just and... trying to sucker punch everybody. That's my goal. Right. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. I, I gave I gave you a free reroll. Basically, um, I gave everybody a free reroll. So now Othello, you are going oh. first with an ace of okay. spades. Uh, then the zombies are going next. Um, they're all going to go at once, regardless of what their order says. Um, uh, they're all at the ace of uh, hearts. Let me see. And then uh, Jessica is a uh, was a jack of. Well, now her thing has disappeared, but I, I believe she was a jack of diamonds. Uh, Crystal, you are a ten of clubs. Uh, the wasp is an eight of hearts. Charlie, you are a seven of diamonds. Denitke, you are a four of spades. And Denton is a four of clubs. All right. Uh, so, Othello, you are first. Here we go. Um... That's just a six. Uh, I would. I'm. I'm. I'm at three bennies. I'm gonna use one more. It's the. It's the season. It's the season finale. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's a seven. It's a little better. That's a little better. That is a hit, but not a hit with a raise. Um, all right. All right. Give me your damage. Here you go. Uh, seven points of damage. All right, you have uh, shaken. Uh, you have shaken um, uh, Miss Jessica here. Let me see. Can, oh, this, just there we go. Just look at her. <laughs> <laughs> what is she now? <laughs> she just went. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna just look at her and go. Nothing personal, but I think Franklin's growing on me. <laughs> oh no. Uh, all right, now it is the zombies turn. They are going to move. One is going to move up to you, Danitki, and uh, one is going to move to the stairs or to the ladder, rather. Um, and uh, another one is going to move towards you, Danitki, and uh, they're going to try to attack here. So let's see if they can do that. Well, that's a three, that didn't do it. Let's see if the other one can do it. This is against my parry. Oh, that is a, critical yes, it's against failure. your parry. That's a critical failure. So uh, oh. um, this zombie, um, uh, Basically, oh, the, and they were no, they're vulnerable to for you all to attack them. Uh, yeah. Um, this one is going to be um, distracted as well. Um, okay, uh, and then yeah, this one is just just has enough time to move up the stairs and is on the platform. Uh, okay. Um, it is Jessica's turn now. She's going to try to unshake. Let's see if she can. Uh, pop, 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 pop. All right, she is no longer shaken. She rolled a six, so she's no longer shaken. 
Oh boy. I'm a hurt now. <laughs> Should be going after Bash accused me. That was a mistake. <laughs> if she okay. is above me, is she adjacent to me or no? She side. is not adjacent to you. Okay, just making no. sure. No. Yeah. Um, Sorry, Adelo. Bye. It's all good. I'll try to take us both down. <laughs> um, she, uh, she looks at you and she says, I knew it. Say goodbye Please. to your little friend. And she begins to cast. Uh, let's see. She is going to roll. Uh, oh, that's not good. I want to try to reroll that. Uh, that's just a six. So that's a five. I'm going to spend. I'm going to spend another one. Uh, let's see. Is, is it actually re-rolling? I don't know. I it saw is. it. It was that there you had a six and then you had a five. Yeah. And it I but looks I'm, like I'm another five. Re-rolling again. Yeah, it looks like another yeah. five. Alright, I'm re-rolling again, because I have the bennies. Remember, chat, if you want to send bennies to me, go ahead and this sub up to fault. the channel. <laughs> Let me try that. Y'all like time. Othello? You don't want Othello to die, do you? Again? Jeez. <laughs> five. Hey. I think I think that okay. the, uh, she's gonna the, stick the world the, is telling you something. She's gonna she's gonna stick with the 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 six, which was the highest roll that she got. So um, that's a six. It's an opposed uh, versus your spirit, uh, uh, Othello. Uh, my spirit is a 12. Yeah, you got to roll your spirit. Oh, okay. Um, let's see, how do I do that? And are you, uh, are you still intangible? No, you're not. You, you became tangible again. Right. You roll, you roll a d12 and your wild die. Right. Um, which, uh, is which is a six, which, yeah, the foundry did for you. Uh, all right. So, um, it meets... It meets or beats. So, um, nothing happens. He's gonna look at her and go, Lady, if you could get rid of my friend, you'd be doing me a favor. <laughs> That's it. Uh, okay. Um, bu -bu -bu uh, Crystal. Hmm. Okay, let's see. I would like to stay right where I am and uh, cast, and I'm going to use one of my new powers, which this one I haven't named, but is Blast. It's what I would like to use, and I would like to set it, because it's, let's see, smart. I should be within reach, right? That's just, I'm, I'm like, pretty, I'm like two paces away from them, right? These from, zombies? From the zombies, yes. From the zombies, yeah? Yeah. Okay, yeah. can I set a small burst right on them without getting to net to need key? Um, I believe you can. So I think small burst is just two. Uh, so yeah, looks like okay. you can. Then I I will do that. I will I will kind of uh, move in towards myself and start whispering. Um, what is my die type? Ooh. Okay, D ten. Wow, really? Um, okay, well that's a five. Uh, but uh, I kind of want to. I'm going to spend a Benny and and try and roll that again because I think I can do better. Okay. That one's Wow. Uh, I, I didn't do better. I got a three. So a five it is. A five it is. <laughs> okay. 
Um, yeah, so it basically it's a, 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 a raven feathers all of a sudden burst forth from the ground and the area around them swirling up um, very quickly. They're very sharp at the end. That's what happens. Okay, and you rolled a five? I did. Okay. Um, uh, all right, give me damage. Okay, I believe that is 2d6. Oh, you get a plus two because they are vulnerable, but they're only going to be vulnerable. They're going to end their vulnerability this turn, so. Oh, to the attack? Yes. So I would just spend seven? Okay. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, I aced it on both die. Oh. <laughs> That's 12 already. Oh my God, I did it again. So that's 24. So 24. Holy shit. Holy shit. I aced on one of them again. So that's 26. 30, 31. 32, 33, 34, 35. 35 damage from my feathers. Get okay. <laughs> that's that's a, a success with several raises. Um, <laughs> very nice. And uh, you get the... Um, and <laughs> uh, yeah, you, so these ravens come out of the ground and do you as a witch, um, do you get any benefits from having a high fear level? Yes. Yes, I do. Um, let me see what that is. That, I, I feel like it gives me a plus. Find it. Oh, fear. The witch gets a free reroll in any failed spell casting roll in fear level four to five, unless it's a deadlands, which means I get a free roll on all spell casting rolls, which sounds really dangerous to be given. That's just a crit fail waiting to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Which is corruption. They know what they're doing. Oh, they know. <laughs> All right. Tricky game yes. designers. Uh, yes, Trixie indeed. So yes, you do get a free reroll uh, on any failed spellcasting roll. So I didn't have to spend a Benny on that. You didn't. Is what I'm hearing. Do you Wait, want to take that Benny back? Hang on. Hang on. I didn't have to spend one on you it? You did not have to spend a Benny. You could have done that as, a, I... as your free reroll. I just get one every time right now? Yes. That means we're in a dead land. No, no, just no. Just <laughs> um, You get, you get, uh, you get, and at a fear level four to five, you get, right. the witch gets a free reroll on any spelled, any fail, any spelled, any failed spell casting roll. Well, the first one, the first one that I rolled was not failed. It just was bad, in my opinion. It was okay, five. then, then, then you would have to use a Benny to, to reroll that. Wah, wah. It's worth a shot. Yeah. Okay. So but not in a deadlands. But you can only do that once. If you were in a deadlands, you could re-roll okay. any oh. spellcasting roll. Yeah. But you, uh, because it's a fear level, you can only re-roll failed spellcasting rolls. Okay. Uh, so yeah, those two um, are are out. Okay, but uh, spellcasting okay. sounds like an awesome kind of like school of spellcaster or wizardry like oh yeah i'm a spellcaster yeah <laughs> it sounds like it but um okay next up is the wasp and the wasp is going to let's see Um, do I have cover from him right now? You do right now, yeah, but you won't in a second because he's gonna move, yeah, like a jackass, yeah. Um, he's going to move right here, and uh, you see, he doesn't appear to have any weapons on him, but. 
he reaches down as if he had two guns and he pulls up his hands into finger guns and he points at you with both guns and he says goodbye Daniki and he fires uh, and bolts of energy come shooting out and let's see There we go. That's a uh, that's a nine. So that's a that's a hit with a raise um, on you. And he casts ammo whammy. Um, and let's see. He is going to. Uh, he is going to add uh, uh um some uh some oomph to that shooting roll. I'm gonna put some sauce on it. Yeah, he's gonna put a little Doesn't sauce on it. To. Uh, so this is uh, plus two. Uh, so that is, that is a five. Uh, let's see. He could do better. Let's see if, let's see. And that's against what, or is that just an additional damage? Uh, no. So he is, so he has to, uh, he is a hex slinger. So okay. he has to cast spell casting in order to activate his power. And then right. he casts uh, shooting to actually shoot or, you know, basically to aim and hit right. someone with that. So this is his uh, uh, shooting roll. Um, but he got he got a raise on his whammy. So I think he gets a little bit of an extra boost here. Uh, sorry, folks, we are going to go a bit long tonight. Because you know I love you, and you know you love it when things go long. Go long. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Uh... So he, oh, he gets to choose two. So, um, okay. Sorry. He is, uh, uh, he's going to add two to his shooting roll. He is also going to, uh, use Argent Agony, which is, um, going to, um, essentially, uh, it's going to make you vulnerable. I think he's getting the whole sampler of hurt. Okay, so that <laughs> that is a. Uh, That's what happens when you're as cool as me. Everyone targets you for everything. So that is a seven total, because um, uh, he had a plus two on that. So uh, that is a hit. Uh, that is not a hit with a raise, unfortunately, because he's um, just trying to beat a target number of four. Uh, so. Um, that hits you. So let's, let's get some damage out here. Um, let's see if I can. That is eight damage. What is your toughness? Uh, six. All right, you are shaken. And what does that mean? That means that you must, uh, before you can do anything, you have to unshake 
um, uh, when it when it's your turn. Uh, if you can't unshake, basically you make a spirit roll uh, on your turn uh, to try to unshake before you can do anything else. And if you succeed, then you are unshaken and you can okay. do your turn as normal. Uh, otherwise, um, you can't do anything. All right. Uh, okay, that's what he's going to do. Um, Charlie. All right. Well, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, kick out my, my pig axe, and I'm just going to toss it down on the ground. And you're going to hear just like a as all the the gears kind of like start to split and one pickaxe becomes two becomes three and they start digging deep into ground i'm gonna go ahead and cast a burrow uh for Great. my movements and i want to get as close to the dude that just shot as i possibly can great and i want to say thank you for the raid murder hobos and chocobros Welcome on in, everybody. Uh, we're playing Savage Worlds, so I hope I hope you enjoy. Okay, um, go for it. Give me that. Uh, let's see. I believe you need to make a weird science roll. Uh, I think did it did it do it as yes, it did it as a weird science. I got a seven. Okay, that's a success. So uh, great. Yeah, burrow. Uh, what can you do with burrow? How far can you go? Let's see. Burrow was in the Uh Ooh, uh half my pace or full pace with a raise. Um okay, you did not get a raise, so it's half your yeah. pace. Yeah, which is a okay. What is the range of this? This is a cone template. But a boom, boom. Great. I, I want to push then. And can I cast another spell tech uh, spell? So, uh, no, you can't. So okay. you, you can. However, um, so the, the deal is you have you can do as many as three actions on your turn. However, every action has a uh, creates a multi-action penalty. So if you do two actions on your turn, that's a negative two to both of your actions. If you do three actions per turn, it's a negative four, I believe, on all of those actions. But you have to call those out beforehand so that you don't make your 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 weird science roll. Oh, uh, gotcha. you know, okay. So, so you, we can, but that would be a minus four to that weird science roll. Okay. Gotcha. All right. So then we'll just get as close as possible and that's it. That's my turn. Okay. Um, Deniki. All right. I'll attempt to unshaken myself. Okay. Give me a spirit roll. Don't forget to roll your wild die. Spirit roll. Spirit. All right. Oh, that's a four. I don't know what I need to get on that. That's a success. You okay, are unshaken. A... Great. And I... So I get hit by magic. But I am afraid of nothing. And even more so, I am an angry, angry person. <laughs> and if you so much as wrong me, oh boy, will I come and get you. But double what you did to me. So I'm going to raise my gun, and I'm going to shoot him. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh wait, uh, Charlie just moved in front of me. Well, Should... Charlie is underneath you. Oh, underneath me. Okay, so it won't matter. Yeah, I'm Got on it. the ground. Yeah. Okay. Well, then I will shoot him. Uh, I need to check what my shooting is at D12. Welcome, Raiders. We got a second group of Raiders. Hey, Raiders. Raiders! We got land raiders! Oh my gosh! Uh, that's Welcome, an Welcome, Distal's Place. That's that an is... eight on my shooting roll. Is that uh, the max on your shooting today? No, it's not the max. Okay. I have a D12. Oh, okay. All right, that's an eight. Okay, that is a success with a raise. However, 
he seems a little harder to hit than you. You're pretty sure you had a bead on him, but not quite. So you actually got a six. <laughs> so the wasp has the dodge edge, which is makes him at a minus two for any ranged attacks to hit him. So you did succeed, but not with a I'm raise. I'm going to spend a Benny and roll again. Okay. That's a 12. That's a 12 on the 12. Yes. So you can, you can roll, Ace. you can re-roll that. 11. Nice. Okay, so that's 23 yeah. minus 2. That is 21. So that, let's see, that is, um, I need to pull up. I need to pull it up. Come on, savage.us. All right. Uh, let's see, you roll a 21. Uh, target number is a 4. Yep. Okay, that is a success with four raises. All right, he's going to try to soak. Now, you see, chat, <laughs> in combat, anything can happen, especially in Savage Worlds. Uh, okay, he is going to try to soak that. Let's see what he can do. Okay. Uh, bup, bup. That's a four. So he would he has soaked one wound. Uh, I'm going to have him reroll one more time. Let's see if he can do better. That's a two. Okay. Um, I'm going to use one of my uh, chat given bennies. Thank you, chat. Um, chat. <laughs> And let's see if he can do it again. Let's see. No, I, uh, just let me roll. Just let me roll. Okay, just roll your own uh, vigor. Let's see. That's a five. Dang it. Okay. All right. So he takes two wounds. Very nice. I want to act like his magic didn't bother me at all. Like I shook it off and it was nothing. And then I raised my gun and I just get him back. Nice. Yeah. And he just, he takes the hit and he just goes, oh, <laughs> yes, you are strong. You're very strong. But I think you'll find... I'm a mite stronger. I'm going to touch the eagle feather in my hair and say, Oh, stronger people than you have tried. All right. Next up, last in the list is Denton. Denton is going to... Do not. Denton is going to rush you, Denithi. Um, and uh, is going to take a swipe at you, it'll be a wild attack. Uh, so with a wild attack, they uh, uh, get a bonus. Let me see here. Just want to make sure I'm calling that out correctly. Uh, so a wild attack adds plus two to the character's fighting rolls and resulting damage rolls for the turn, but he is vulnerable uh, until the end of his next turn. Not the end of this one, but the next one. Um, however, he has the Berserk Edge, which gives him a plus two to his toughness. Uh, and he can ignore one level of wound penalties. Okay. Uh, let's see here, Denton. Uh, 
Uh, and he has these... He runs at you and flashes his hands out and these claws just erupt similar to how you've seen Othello's claws come out and 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 he goes I'm going to get me some of that flesh and he rips into you whoa that is a 14 which I believe meets your parry that is a success with uh, let's see your what is your parry 7 wait yeah 7 all right, your parry is a seven. You got a 14. All right, that is a success with one raise. So you are wounded. Would you like, you're shaken and wounded, I should say. Uh, would you like to soak that wound? How do I soak a wound? So you need to spend a Benny immediately okay. and then make a vigor roll. I will do that. Okay. I believe you are out of your own bennies now. Is that right? No, I have four left. I had five. And then, because you gave one to me. Uh-huh. Two to me. And then I haven't spent any of mine, and I spent one from a player, from the player pool. Okay. Earlier. Okay. It's just a four. Uh, that is a success. So, so you are able to take kind of the brunt of of this hit uh and or actually yeah wait i'm i'm going i'm going way out of order this is combat okay sorry everybody he hits you he has hit you he has not done damage yet <laughs> we're going to get to damage because he got a raise he gets extra damage so he does hit your parry uh and he hits it with it, this will be a, a wound, but let's see. Um, uh, let's see what what happens with with his damage. Uh, okay, that is a nine. Um, and your 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 what's your toughness? Six. Okay, so that is a uh, so that is a success, um, uh, but not a success with a raise. So um, you are shaken. You are shaken, but no wound, because he did not break your toughness, unfortunately. So never mind. You don't need to do the oh. Um, oh. the vigor roll or anything like that. But you are Ow. you are shaken. Take that back. I will bare my teeth and growl at him. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> was that your, that's that's your growl? <laughs> Oh, God, no. I'd like to think I'm a little scarier than that. I just want him to know that he's next. All right. Uh, that's a new round of combat. New round of combat means we redraw action cards for, for everybody. Whew. And I got a red joker. When you draw a joker in combat you immediately uh the that character can then move at any time can act at any time during this combat uh they also get a plus two to their uh roles um and uh let's see is there anything else am i forgetting anything else with jokers uh bennies if oh yes if you're i get a benny your wild card, or, or you, yeah, or you get one Benny, or whatever it is, yeah. Yeah. So if if you would all get Bennies if you got a a if you pulled a Joker, but you didn't. I pulled a Joker, so I get a Benny. Mm -hmm. Um, that's nice. I like that. Okay. Uh, Denton um isn't happy with his performance and. Uh, He's going to try to attack you again, Daniki. Oh, my God. I'm going to stamp your head into the ground. Mm. Uh, that is a seven. Uh, you're, you said your parry is a seven? Yes. How is your parry a seven? Because my agility is high, extremely high. 
Well, it's okay. it's based off your fighting, so it's oh, my, it's because my my fighting is a D ten. Okay, so uh, uh, Perry Perry is half your fighting plus two, so that's a seven. Very good. Um, okay, uh, but he meets it, so he does hit you. Uh, now let's see how much damage he does. That's a five. I feel like he could do better than that. Because your toughness is a... Six. Six. I'm going to re-roll that damage. There it is. Um, that is, uh, that is, uh, uh, that's a 12, uh, which is a success with a raise. Um, you were already shaken. So, uh, with a success with a raise, you remain shaken and you take one wound. Would you like to soak that wound? Yes, I will soak that wound. All right. Spend a Benny and roll your vigor. Aced. Six. Nice. All right. So uh, you don't have to keep rolling. Um, you, there was only one wound to soak. So yeah, you again. You take you take the blow and you kind of roll with it. Your you are keen. Your keen fighting skills allow you to sort of roll a little bit with it. But um, uh, Tahatka, your horse is um, not having it being this close to a harrowed. Um, it is. It is not a fun experience, and you uh, are, are are having um, some issues here. So you are still shaken, or no? You you are no longer shaken because you you did successfully soak that that roll. So you are no longer oh, okay. uh, shaken. Uh, yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm sure someone will correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's, that's, that's the facts. <laughs> okay. Um, and you are next. I'm going to turn and look at him right in his ugly undead face. Going to raise my gun, point it right at his forehead since he's so close to me. And I'm going to say, oh. You are really going to regret doing that and pull the trigger. Great. Eleven. Uh, okay. Uh, that is a success with a raise. Uh, so give me give me your damage uh, plus a D an extra D six. That is 2d6, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then another d6, 12. Did you roll, did you ace any of those die? Uh, no, I don't no. think so. Okay, so a total of 12. Um... Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, Magic Fish Radio, thank you for the raid. Thanks everybody for coming in. Uh, hey, we are, hello. We're 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 running long, so you're in for a little treat. Um, okay, uh, let's see. You said that was a, a twelve total. Yeah. Uh, he is shaken. Uh, and. Um, you you were point blank and you were sure you could get the perfect shot off but somehow he was able to just twist slightly at the last minute he heard the cock he heard you pull that trigger and just is able to move at the very last second his ears are ringing but you did not do damage to him uh okay wasn't he vulnerable? Uh, he was. Uh, no, I don't because believe. Because he did his. Uh, oh yes, thing. he is vulnerable. So uh, you had a plus two on your um, on your uh, attack. 
Um, but uh, what what was that? What was the total for your attack then? If we had two, not your damage, but the actual attack. Um, this is where it's nice oh, to it have it in. <laughs> it was so it was a thirteen because I I haven't touched my D twelve, so it would have been a thirteen. Okay, that's still just a success with a raise, so you wouldn't it wouldn't have done um, anything more. Uh, to him. Worth asking. Yeah, no, I wasn't no. sure if that had anything to do with damage as well, or yeah. just the attack. Nope. That's fair. Um, Alright. I will make him vulnerable, though. Okay. Great. Alright. Next up is the Wasp. And the Wasp is going to, again, um... Well, you know, the wasp is a huckster. And hucksters, well, they can deal with the devil in order to cast things that they might normally not be able to cast. Uh, and. Find yeah. from my life over here. Well, if he wants to dance with the devil, I'm his huckleberry. <laughs> yeah, go deal with him. Right. Uh, let's see. I know I just shot you, but I'm busy over here. Um, nah, he's just gonna shoot again. Uh, so let's see. He's going to get his uh spell casting here. Okay, uh, so let's see, that, that is a total of uh, 11, it looks like, um, with, with, with the minus 2 that he had for his, for his wounds, so uh, 11. Uh, so that is a success with a raise, but not another raise. Um, so let's see, he is going to cast again... He's going to add two to his shooting die, and he's also going to use that, uh... Um... He's also going to cast that Argent Agony on you, so... Uh, let's see if he can do that. Plus two. Uh, that is a six, a, a six, which is a success. So he does hit you um, with that. Uh, and let's see if he can get some damage here. Uh, so you, um, so let's see, you've got weakness applied to you. And Which, who, who's he doing this to? He's doing this to Daniki. Well, you popular. <laughs> uh, let me see here. I was born this way. Everyone <laughs> wants a piece of this. <laughs> and uh, Daniki. Yeah. Um, you're. Uh, you get hit with this bullet, and before we get to the damage, um, your mind goes back to your childhood, and you have this sense of being contained, and, um, almost being tied up and uh, constrained. This is your worst nightmare. You, you feel like you, you cannot escape and it's bearing down upon you and it just washes over you. And uh, you are, um, you are vulnerable. 
Um, moving forward. Um, is how I'm going to rule that. I'm sure there's a specific thing for, for weakness, but it's not showing up here. Um, excuse me. Um, but let's get some damage out. Oh, that's terrible. He's spinning a Benny. Let's do that again. Chat, not for nothing. Can you stop giving this person bennies, please? Yeah, me? I would agree from with my, that. For my survival. I haven't even used the chat bennies yet. Oh my god. That's better. That's an eight. What's your toughness? A six? Yeah. Oh, and you're vulnerable too. Oh, um, yeah, you well, I just made you vulnerable, so that's not gonna take effect quite for this for this attack. But um So that is a success. So you are shaken. Uh okay. Shaken and vulnerable. Uh next up Othello. And a help uh, I'm looking at Jessica, and I'm gonna go, uh... You gonna behave, or you gonna die? Oh, whatever you want. And you know what? I don't think it's about what I want. Everybody keeps asking for the same damn thing, so I think it's about time we give the people what they want. And I'm gonna look at Denton. You wanna dance with the devil? Here he comes, and I'm going to let him out. Oh, okay. You're going to let the devil out. Okay. Mm. Let's let's do this. You know what? You know what? Let's stop the music here. Um, okay. Let me get to the hair out here. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. You embrace your inner demon's power, though it may cost you your soul. Um, you've been fighting here, and you've been trying to do it on your own terms. And uh, you get this sensation, this feeling in your head, um, and, uh, a voice comes to you. A fellow, a fellow, yeah. you and I, we can make short work of this witch. Just, just give me a chance. Let me in. I let you in. It don't stop at the witch. I want that Denton fella dead, too. Oh, <laughs> yes, Denton, sure, whoever. Try and leave my friends alone. No promises. And at that, your eyes glaze over and uh, you give the power over to your Manitou. By doing this, you can add a d6 to all trait and damage rolls for the next five rounds. In return, you must roll on the Dominion table immediately. Um, so, let me see here. Um... Your initial Dominion score is equal to your spirit die type um, when you kicked the bucket originally. So um, when you, uh, your novice character, what was your spirit, um, your spirit die type when, when you first created your character? Eight. So you had a D8 in spirit. So your Dominion score is an eight. Okay. Um, 
let's go to page 87 of the Deadlands core rulebook, which you can win. We're going to announce that. Don't worry, everybody. I've, I've remembered. All right. Roll me a d6. Sorry. You can also type, just you can type slash roll 1d6, space 1d6. A two. Um, malevolence. The Herod's allies witness the true demonic nature of the Manitou. Everyone who can see the thing clearly, and that's everybody, um, or is within uh, 10 yards must make an immediate fear check at minus two. Not me. Mm. Wait, why don't you... Why, oh, because of... You. I'm immune to fear, baby! Yes, yeah, eagle feather. Oh, nice. Very good. Very good. I'm, I'm underground. True. True. You don't see, you don't see this yet. Okay. The minute you come out of the ground, though, you will see it. Okay. Yeah. At a minus two, oh boy. Uh, I'm going to use a Benny to re-roll that because it's currently just a three. Okay. I would rather it wasn't a three. Okay, well, that's worse. So I guess it's a three for me. Okay. What was the uh, what was the roll? Sorry. It's a, it's a uh, sp spirit. Spirit. Yeah. spirit, okay. Minus okay. two? Well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I just think it's very funny if everyone's freaking out and I'm just like, oh, you know, another Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> How about a negative two? A negative two? <laughs> How did you get a negative two? <laughs> I don't know. It's a crit fail, though. Oh, you got a critical failure. <laughs> oh, no. This is so bad for us. All right. Whoa, what was that? What's that? Someone? I don't know. No, that that, that, that's me, sorry. Oh. Oh. <laughs> OK. Um, uh, OK. I'm, I'm just saying, Tom, you, you did have our greatest fears, right? Yes. Just saying. Yes. It's pretty damn close to it. <laughs> yes, that's true. Um, uh, all right. Um, uh, both of you roll me a d20. Both of whom? Um, uh, Gnome and Me. Megan. I got an eight. Okay. I got a two. Okay. Right. Um, <laughs> uh, Megan, you are vulnerable until the end of your next turn. So not, uh, so yeah, I guess this, the coming up next turn. Okay. Um, so I will mark you a vulnerable. Um, Gnome... Surprisingly, this has given you inner strength. Adrenaline surge. Your fight response has taken over, and you act as if you drew a joker this session. So that means you get a plus two <laughs> to your trait roll. Whoa. Oh, how the turntables! I don't know. I don't know if that means you get a Benny. I don't think so. I, I don't, don't think you get a Benny for that. Yeah, I yeah. Think, I don't think so. You you act like you got a Joker, but you didn't actually get a Joker. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, you get a plus two to your um, your die, and you can go uh, at any time. Um, currently, it is a fellow's turn, but uh, if you want to interrupt a fellow. Uh, or um, 
Well, I'm not going to let you interrupt Othello because, because uh, um, yeah, you, um, you can't. Um, but yeah, so um, Othello, you have let the devil out, and uh, upon seeing this, um, uh, uh, you know, let me. Um, let me make fear rolls for for my my peoples too. Let's see. Oh, that's not good. Let's let's re-roll that. That's good. All right, Jessica gets a twenty-one. Um, it's not gonna matter to me. <laughs> Uh, let's see, uh, um, Wasp gets a five, so, so far, so good. And Denton is, uh, let's see, are Harold's immune to being feared? I don't believe we are, um, no. I don't I think, think they so. get a, maybe a plus? No? Uh, because I, I know, I know zombies are immune to it, um, but there are currently no zombies. Oh, you know, I've been forgetting that zombie. There is a zombie. Well, he's unaffected by it. Um, his turn has not yet come. Um, he's but, just uh, minding his business. Yeah. We get a plus two to toughness and spirit rolls to recover from shaking. Ignore additional damage from call shots except to the head. Uh, we don't need to breathe. We're immune to disease and pleasing. Uh, we don't bleed out. And we're only permanently destroyed. Right. That our brain is destroyed. Right. Um, okay. Uh, I'm going to, um, because time is short, and and I don't want to run too too far, and we still need to do a uh, our our giveaway winner. I'm going to uh, take this and Jordan K's calorie minute a little bit. <laughs> um, so, you have let the devil out. Uh, it has not, um, well, let me, let me just verify, um, all right. Okay. Um, so Denton is not, uh, Denton is unaffected as well. So, um, you have done this and the wasp just cackles with with laughter and cheers and he says yes come out come my friend and join us and the manitou that is controlling you now um kind of turns to you and you know his deal is awful sweet it would be a shame to just say no to it. I know you were joking before, but I gotta feel good like this. And, um, you, um, are able to do, I'll let you do one thing here. I'll let you do your mm -hmm. action. And, and because you, you let the devil out and praise be to, to you for doing that. So thank you. Thank you for doing that. I'll let you have your your fun, uh, and then and then we're going to um, we're going to do a dramatic task to wrap this up. Mm. Three attacks to Jessica. Okay, so uh, each uh, each roll is going to be at a minus four for your multi action mm -hmm. penalty. Uh, and I get an additional 1d6 on each one, right? Yeah, I believe so. Rock and or roll. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> um, <laughs> that voice is so weird. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you don't sound very sorry. <laughs> The 
that is a four on the first one. Uh, that meets. So uh, you can give damage with an extra d6. Is that an 11? Mm, right. well, I haven't added the d6 yet, and here it is. So that's a 16. Okay. Uh, okay, that is a success with two raises. So um, those are two wounds on Jessica. All right, what's your next? Um, One more on her. Uh, that is a 15. Okay, that's another, uh, that's a success with multiple raises. Um, so you get another d6, another extra d6 on this. So you get uh, whatever your, your strength damage plus two extra d6. Okay. Um, that is a success with a raise. So, um, yeah, you just go to town and start slashing um, at, uh, um, wow, you got high even with a, I don't, I don't know that it took a minus four out of that. Oh, well, I am so sorry. Go ahead and add the negative, oh, well, let's see. So instead of the 15, that's just 11. Okay. Um, um, so, so I thought I hit the four, but it did not go. No, that's um, okay. That's okay. Um, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So you, yeah. you basically rip Jessica to shreds. Um, all the while she just laughs, uh, and, and, uh, eventually collapses from her wounds, but she, she dies with a smile on her face. Um, you get the sense that this isn't the end for her. Um, and the wasp just... Well done. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Now, uh, why don't you take out that other one? And uh, uh, he just points at Danitki. Wow, don't I just feel like the most popular schoolgirl <laughs> in the yard today. And, and as he claps, he says, oh, uh, <laughs> by the way, uh, I, I think I'll be leaving you now. And... Um, he kind of raises his hands and the roof of this cave begins to collapse and fall in on itself. And uh, he kind of takes a step backwards and melds into the shadows till you're not able to see him again. And you see this huge stalactite fall, fall down and crush the zombie that was climbing up the ladder. And um, Denton turns and looks for his master, and he goes, Wasp, where you going? Where you going? Come. Damn it. I'm coming back for you. Oh, and he you can come back as many times as you like. I will blow your brains out every single time. And uh, he goes, and he runs, and Charlie, you feel this uh, stomp <laughs> right over over your head as you're about to pull out of this burrow and um, you you feel uh, you know invigorated um, you see you see a fellow but that doesn't scare you <laughs> one bit and you you feel um, uh, powerful so for this dramatic task you will be getting your plus two uh, to your trait rolls uh, uh, as if you had a joker um, so I will give you that. Um, so uh, let me let me quickly describe this dramatic task for you all. Um, I'm sorry we kind of have to rush through this, but uh, I'll make this I'll make this rather quick. And then uh, yeah, I'll make this rather quick. Um, so dramatic tasks are basically like a heightened quick encounter. It's an alternate way of resolving complex tasks with some mechanics and with some RP. Uh, however, whereas a quick encounter is meant to be well quick, uh, only taking a few minutes to resolve and usually favors a successful outcome, a dramatic task is more involved and is a bit more swingy. 
We hand out action cards, just like we would in a combat. Um, the cards dictate who acts and when, but they can also have ill effects. So similar to uh, um, the chase rules and stuff, again, if an action card is a club, then the skill attempt is made at a minus two. It's a complication. Failure on a task with a club action card means the dramatic task fails entirely. You can choose not to roll, however, um, uh, or you can spend a Benny to get a different action card when it's drawn if you want to do that. Um, but, uh, but if you do roll with a club and you fail, the entire dramatic task fails. Uh, support rolls can be made at any time. Uh, supporters trying to help someone with a club will also have a minus two to their roll in addition to any negatives of their own action card. So if you also have a club and you're trying to help someone else with a club perform a task, you have a minus two from their club and a minus two from your club, so you would be at a minus four. Um, but if you don't have a club, then uh, you have no, but they have a club, then you're only at a minus two. If they don't have a club, it's a straight roll. Does that make sense? Uh, as a GM, you can create many dramatic tasks for individuals, or you can create a group task. Uh, uh, for each uh, type of task, you are looking for a number of successes in a certain amount of time. Each success earns a task token, which can be used for keeping track of the successes. Each success and raise earns a task token. However, uh, if you are given a specific task that requires a specific number of successes, if you roll enough raises to complete those, those raises do not roll over and add successes to the next task. So they, they are only for the task that you have been given. If it's just a general task like get out of the cave, uh, then those would roll and they, those would give you con continued successes. But if, say, the task was um, setting some dynamite, you need three successes on that. Okay, you got three successes because you got a success with two raises. Great, you did that. Let's say you got a success with four raises. You only needed three successes to accomplish that task. That extra raise, that extra success, just goes away. It does not roll over to the next task. Um, that's basically it. Uh, so, in the interest of time, we are... Uh, that's that's the basics of dramatic tasks. Um, I'm not going to showcase it because um, uh, we just don't have time to lay out the action cards and, and do things one by one. But I'm going to let you all narrate essentially what you do uh, to get out of this uh, cave that is collapsing around you. And um, let's start with Noir. You you have let the devil out. Uh, I think I'm going to make my way over to Taniki and I'm just going to, there's just going to be a moment where Othello's voice comes out clear. You should probably run now. And I'm going to actually walk towards the collapse in my ghost form and let the rocks just kind of fall on him. Uh, as he continues walking through the rubble. Okay. Um, um, uh, Crystal. Um, Crystal is going to pull out her staff and um, she is going to try and use wilderness walk. Can I do that here? Sure. <sighs> I'll, I'll, I'll let you do that because um, we, we didn't we didn't technically you have to have been walking for a mile and and acclimate yourself to the to the environment. But I'll, I'll, I'll say that you have acclimated yourself to things. OK. And I know I know I have to walk a mile also in um, in the uh, uh, hunting grounds as well, uh, yeah. I think. So, which is fine in this instance, is, is, it will work fine. Um, I, I essentially want to try to open a portal into the hunting grounds and say, I have a way out. Just follow me and Franklin. Um, okay, so f to do this, I will use spellcasting. 
Um, Wilderness walk power. So one of the walking sticks is in my hand. Yes. Mm -hmm. Acts and acts as if affected by the wilderness walk power. Yes. Plus two to survival rolls and acts of it. Okay. So it would allow me to do that. Do I need to activate it? Uh, no, I think, I mean, I think it's, 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 it's at will. So you're using your relic to do this. Yes. Yes. Um, and remind us what your relic is. It is Sacagawea's walking stick. Um, Great. Yeah, which essentially allows me to go into the hunting grounds, but it allows everyone to notice me as well. Great. So. Okay. Um, cool. So you have um, basically opened up a, a uh, pathway to the hunting grounds, um, mm -hmm. which you can sort of fast travel um, um, where you go. Okay. Uh, Denitki, you see this path open up in front of you, and you heard Othello say, now would be a good time to run. Did Denton leave? Denton's gone. You, you have, Denton ran, and you lost him in the debris falling and the darkness of the cave. Darn it. I was going to try and trample him on my way out. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, has Charlie come up yet? Yes. Can I grab Charlie and throw him up on my horse so that we can make a getaway? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would like to do that. I okay. I'm seeing I'm like, okay, you know what? Cutting my losses for today. I will come back to this. I have not forgotten and will not forget, but I want to grab Charlie and make sure that he can also get out safely because he doesn't have a reliable way to get out and is just faster if I can get him and cannot believe that I'm trusting a witch, but we'll do it. You know what? Desperate times, desperate measures. And Great. Franklin. <laughs> yeah, I'm trusting Franklin here. <laughs> Trust the ghosts more than you. <laughs> hey, look, I will just tell you, you know, there are many stories where I come from about witches. None of them are good. So this is a big step for me. Oh, well, I take that as a compliment then. She yells through the, the things that are happening. <laughs> I'm like staring at this wilderness going like this. My every instinct is saying, go run in the opposite direction. You'll find the exit eventually. But no, today we need but to survive. This. Yeah. <laughs> so you grab Charlie and uh, Charlie, are you going to help uh, Daniki out and, and jump on the back of uh, Tadka? Well, a jumping is, is certainly a, a task, but yeah, hell yeah, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to scramble up that hole. I don't care how. Well, with this adrenaline surge coursing through your veins, you... You, <laughs> you rock it up. Yeah, you you jump. You wouldn't think you'd be able to like do it, but you... Like a fat turtle right in the spring. Just shoot right on the ground. And you are, you are up and you are on... Uh, you are on Tahatka, and uh, you ride out in, into this void that um, Crystal has created. And Othello, you are following them into this void. Uh, yeah, I, 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 he was gonna he was gonna chase the dude down through the rubble, but seeing his friends, I think he's gonna change his mind and just follow through the path, but at a healthy distance behind them. Just okay, in case yeah. the devil gets any ideas. Yeah, and and the the Manitou has has fallen back in the wayside, but you you hear just softly this Oh, I'll be back, Othello King. I'll be back. And back to your corner. You you go uh uh and you all pass through into the hunting grounds. And that is where we will leave it for this finale of the RPG Exploration Society doing a Savage Worlds Learn to Play. 
Thank you all for joining us. Thank you very much. Quickly, because I know, Noam, you've got to get out of here. Um, and we still are going to do our draw, our giveaway draw. But, um, uh, Noam, why don't, you, why don't you lead us off with uh, where folks can find you? Heck yeah. Sorry, sorry about that time, y'all. No, just that's getting you're... a little bit old late here. You're all uh, good. Yo, what's up, everybody? My name is Noam. Thank you so much for having me on. This was super fun. I hope that we get to see these characters again because I think they've got one hell of a story to tell. But you can find me over on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and I don't know, wherever else that is nomadic. It's likely me. You hit me up there. Ba Bam. Great. Uh, and Nick. Hey, uh, you can find me on Twitter at by underscore rogues. Uh, I'm also part of in the Infinity Break Network. So Infinity Break Gaming, all of my info is there as well. But all of my creative updates pretty much go on my Twitter. My D&D podcast is releasing its next episode uh, tomorrow. So we're coming up on some pretty awesome stuff there. In the meantime, I'm always streaming on my twitch or talking over on twitter doing art and stuff so if you're interested in that kind of thing make sure you check me out there this was really awesome mm. i loved being here <laughs> very cool uh, megan hi i'm megan caves and you can find me on twitter and instagram at megan caves um and uh, you can also uh, check out my um, <clears throat> production company, Con Rogue Entertainment. Um, I've got my show, Savage Worlds, as well. It is Harbingers. We just finished our uh, season two. Um, so you can check that out on youtube.com um, slash Con Rogue Entertainment. Uh, that one was cyberpunk. The season before it was... Uh, well, was was witches in 1700s ish time period, um, but what what we really found out is that it's Deadlands Hell on Earth. They've been the, in the apocalypse this whole time, um, and so uh, yeah, season three is going to be that specifically. So you can check that out. Um, you can follow Harbingers at Harbingers RPG. The other thing that I'm doing right now that's very fun is la is um, it's Lasers and Liches D and D. So it is basically synth fantasy, um, and that's on uh, Fridays on Ladies of D and D at six six p.m. We are a, a 1985 rock band that uh, girl rock band that is has found ourselves in the time of of King Arthur. So. Um, it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, those are those are the main big things. Just follow me to find other things. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Noir. Hello, I'm Noir. You can find me all over the internet as the Noir Enigma. That's Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. And uh, I'm gonna be at Gen Con for work. So if you want to see Morning Ritual mm. live, uh, go get tickets. That's it. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Uh, real quick, we had some uh, we had some tips. Part of why I sped you through that dramatic task was um, we did reach a level where you got one free success. Uh, you could have gotten more free successes, but we kind of had to cut things short. And um, um, so I just interpreted that free success as you basically beat the dramatic task. Um, but amongst that, we uh, so, so thank you to chat for unlocking that. Um, uh, additionally. We um, uh, we got some toasts real quick that I want to read out. Five Foot Latina said, thanks for a fun series. It was great to meet this eclectic party of adventurers. Uh, uh, Neva Amy says, uh, aces for all of you, including the GM. Thank you very much. DJ Regular, just consider this donation part of my dues as a, as a member of the uh, Hotka Defense Force. Um, protect that horse at all costs. Yes. <laughs> um, and enter the rectangle says, uh, as a wise man once said, ye and God willing, ha. So thank yeah. you very much for that. Uh, the winner of our Savage Worlds starter pack giveaway set is uh, Anne Ramos. And Ooh. thank you very much. I don't know if you're watching. If you're not, we will co uh, contact you uh, via the contact methods you have provided. But congratulations all the way in Oshawa, Ontario, Canada. Uh, thank you very much. Um, uh, congratulations to, to you. And thank you to everybody who entered uh, in. I'm sure we will do more soon. 
the next thing coming up on this channel uh, is uh, going to be our Alzheimer's Marathon, our Alzheimer's Awareness Marathon. Um, uh, so k keep your eyes peeled as to when that will be and and what may, may what forms that may take. Um, uh, please, giant marshmallow and giant marshmallow. Okay, um, uh, go to YouTube. Check out all of our past videos. Check out all five of these um, uh, uh, Savage Worlds Learn to Plays and all of that stuff. And uh, check out our Discord where you can chat about this and ask us questions. And uh, check out our wiki where you can find all the shows we've ever done in the eight years we've been producing content. It'll be eight years in two days. So, um, uh, uh, yeah, I think it was the 23rd of June oh. when we did our very first stream. Uh, 23rd to 24th. I'll figure it out. Anyway, thank you That's all. Jordan's birthday. Oh, well, there you go. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, so thank you all so much. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for sharing. Please continue to share. Remember, we're trying to hit 500 new Ko-Fi subscribers by September 8th. So if you can retweet anything, share with your friends, let them know what fun it is to be part of the Exploration Society. So thank you all. And uh, until we meet again, yeehaw. Yeehaw. Bye. <laughs>